We actually won a game today. We actually won a game. It seems like it's been forever, but we finally won a game. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. What is poppin' y'all? It's your man, Club Boy Bales. Welcome to another episode of Wisco Sports. I'm um, sorry it took me a while to get done with the video. I had I was at a movie with a friend, so after the game, I kind of missed a lot of the end of it. So I kind of was a little behind with everything kind of going on. So it took a little while to kind of get used to it. I had to make sure I was watching what I was watching because I wanted to, like, make sure I was really in-depth with the analysis and everything and... You know, whatsoever. But I'm happy with things. You know, it's been five long weeks of losses and I just couldn't take it anymore. And I'm like, it had to be, it had to be a win. It had the win had to have happened. Um but honestly, winning is so much more fun than losing. Um those five weeks were very hard weeks. You know, we lost to the Giants. We lost to the Jets, the Commanders, the Bills, and the Lions, and a lot of those games really shouldn't have been losses, and, you know, they finally won a game that was impactful. Um, some of the things that I noted in this game were that we ran the ball. That's why we won. We ran the ball. We actually did exactly what we needed to do. With all the people that we lost, you know, Rashawn Gary being out for the season, Eric Stokes being out for the season, no Devon Ray Campbell once again, it's very tough to really get through what there is. And, yeah, I, I, it's hard to believe that. My game ball is going to go to Christian Watson. Um, yeah, we finally saw the game where Christian Watson came out and did exactly what he needed to do. I am... So happy and proud of him for everything. Um, Aaron Jones also played great. Aaron Rodgers had a better game. How about Rudy Ford? Two interceptions on the day for him. That's great to see this young guy stepping up. Aaron Rodgers went 14-20 to from the day. 224 yards, three touchdowns, and two carries to four. Um, Aaron Jones, 24 carries, 138 yards and a touchdown and two catches for 18. A.J. Dillon, 13 for 65 yards. Christian Watson, four catches for 107 and three touchdowns. That's, like, one of the best things we've ever seen. Like, literally, this guy literally did. He's growing up and he's glowing up in real time. I mean, I'm excited for that. Watkins, three for um, 47. Lazard, three for 45. Obviously, that big thing was Lazard stepped up in the end when you really needed it to. Um, two fumbles on the day for Green Bay. One by Aaron Rodgers after a sack. Empty was he was sacked a couple times today. Um, Amari Rodgers another punt return fumble. And I think they got to really remove him from the position. There's just too much he can't really do. Isaiah McDuffie led the game with 13 tackles, eight of them being solo. Um, and um, Adrian Amos and Kenny Clark both provided sacks for the team today. And, of course, the two interceptions were by Rudy, Rudy Ford. Keyshawn Nixon actually provided for over 100 return yards, which was great to see. Uh, Mason Crosby was one or two from the day. And Pat O'Donnell was, had four punts for a total of 160 yards. So, pretty much, you know, you got a lot of things going on in this game. Christian Watson, Aaron Jones, Rudy Ford, and Aaron Rodgers all played great. One of the best things we saw was running the ball, of course. I think that was the most important thing. Scoring in both halves, of course, was also awesome to see. They couldn't do that in either all games this season. And Lazard really did do things when they needed. The pass rush was actually solid today. It actually pressured Deck Prescott a lot. Um, run defense, unfortunately, was a problem. Tony Pollard had 12 carries for 115 yards and a touchdown. 
13 and three catches for 13 yards. Nothing you can do. CD Lamb, 11 catches for 150 yards and two touchdowns. Dalton Schultz, six for 54 and a touchdown. Michael Gallup, four for 35. Not much from anybody else. Um, but the run, the run defense, unfortunately, was a problem. And of course, another fumble on Omari Rogers. That was a problem, but. They were four and six, you know, and there's still that hope remains that they can actually get into the playoffs if they win out. It's possible. It's very possible. The division is very far out of reach. I will say that. I think the Vikings will likely win the division, but I think the playoffs are not out of reach. We play on Thursday. We play the Titans on Thursday uh, on Amazon Prime. Lovely. Um, um, of course, I thankfully have Amazon Prime, so I will be able to watch that, um, because I have Amazon. But, um, lots of crazy things. Um, yeah, um, but, you know, they're, it's going to be tough adversity. You're going to have no Gary, you're going to have no Stokes. Injuries on the defense and are going to fill you up. Now, it sucks to not have Dobbs. I really want to see him more, but now... Seeing this game out of Christian Watson is definitely going to make things a lot better. I really am excited to see how he does in the future. Um, on the on other contrary, um, Minnesota is very close to winning their division at this point. A big lead, you know, it's a couple games away. But if anybody watched that... That Vikings... Buffalo game, that probably was one of the best games I've probably ever watched in my life. Buffalo literally had the win, and they literally blew their chance away, and they did not deserve... They deserved to lose that game. I will just say that. Um, they did that to themselves. Um, if you haven't watched the highlights of that game, I recommend you do that. Or if you didn't watch that game, I recommend you get some highlights, because, man, that was... One of the most unbelievable finishes of a game you'll probably ever see. Crazy how things work. But yeah, it was, you know, things have been, it's just been a really wild year so far. Things are starting to go into full swing, you know. Tampa won, is won again, so now maybe Tampa's starting to feel, some, feel something going for them. And, you know, you know, we're starting to see really who can come out on top, you know. There are some good teams and there are some bad teams, but I think it's going to take a long while and it's going to be interesting to see how things turn out for everyone and everything. So, it's not over for the Packers until it's over. That's all I'm going to say about that, but let's just be excited for how things turn out. So, without further ado, it's your man Clock Boy Bales. If you like what you see, subscribe below, comment with your thoughts, and as always, we will see you next time.